Here is the last screen of the database wizard. To create your new database, click the Finish button. Access will go to work creating your database for you. Here's the new database. Since this database was created using the database wizard, a main switchboard has been created. The next step is to enter data into your database. You can add data to a table using a form such as those available on the main switchboard or you can use a data sheet to put data into a table. For the purpose of this exercise, you will close the main switchboard and enter data directly into the table. A data sheet displays the records in your database in a row and column format. You can enter the data for your database directly in data sheet view. To open a table in data sheet view from the database window, click the tables button in the objects bar and double click the table name you want to open. Let's try this now. The title bar now displays the name of the table, which is contacts. When you first open a new data sheet, there will not be any data displayed. The empty data sheet will only display the column titles, which are field names. Notice that in the contact database, the contact ID field uses the auto number data type. This means that Access will automatically number and store your database entries for you. The auto number data type is a protected field and can't be changed. To begin entering data into the table, place the insertion point in the first name field. To move between fields, press the tab key. Let's begin entering the first record for Marty Phillips. For your convenience, the rest of the information will be entered into this table. Good. Five records have been entered. Notice that Access automatically gave the first record a contact ID of 1, and every record after that is numbered sequentially. The navigation area at the bottom of the window has now updated to reflect the five records in this table. The buttons along the bottom of the datasheet window are called the navigation buttons and they help you move around in the datasheet. The buttons with an arrow in a bar take you to the first and last records in the datasheet. The buttons with single arrows take you to the next and previous records in the datasheet. Let's click the first record button. Good. Now the first record in the table is the active record. You can tell that it is the active record by the triangular arrow that appears to the left of the record. Let's make the last record the active record.
You can add a record by using the New Record button, which has an arrow and an asterisk. The box between the previous and next record buttons is called the specific record box. To quickly move to a specific record in a table, type the record number in the specific record box. Let's make the third record the active record. The scroll bar along the bottom of the window lets you quickly move to different fields in the data sheet. You can click the arrows on each side of the scroll bar, click and drag the scroll box, or click anywhere in the scroll bar to move between fields.